Hello students, welcome to the lecture. Now we will continue the examples of one way ANOVA. So next example is, there are three types of fertilizers are used on three groups of plants for five weeks. We want to check if there is a difference in the mean growth of each group. Using the data given below, apply a one way ANOVA test at 0 0.05 significant level. Data given is for fertilizer 1, fertilizer 2 and fertilizer 3. Okay. So, 6, 8, 4, 5, 3, 4, 8, 12, 9, 11, 6, 8, 13, 9, 11, 8, 7 and 12. These are the data given. Okay. Now, solution. To carry out the analysis of variance, we form the following tables. Okay. First table as per our steps. What is the first table is like this. So, as it is, you write on the given data set. Okay. In the first table, what is our aim? Our aim is to find sum of all each uh, individual column. Okay. Sum of all the values in the column. Then, the squares of their, uh, their sums. Okay. This is the concept. Now, already I have written the data here. So, F1 column, F2 column and F3 column. So, when you add up all these 6 plus 8 plus 4 plus 5 plus 3 plus 7, when you add them, this is a T1 for the first data. So, it is 30. So, when you add F2 column, the values of F2 column, you will get a T2. T2 is 54. And when you add third column, you will get it as 60. Now, T1 square, 30 square is 900, T2 square, 54 square, it is 2916 and it is 60 square, so it is 3600 and we need to sum of all the T1 plus T2 plus T3, it gives us 60 plus 30 plus 54, which gives us 144. This is our first step. Once we find the sum of all these, then the sum of squares. Okay, we need to find sum of squares. Then squares of all individual values of this table. Okay, the sum of squares are as follows. This is the table. So now, square each data. So each value. So what happens here? It is 36, okay, 64, 30, 36, 8 square, 4 square, 16, 5 square, 25, 3 square 9 and 4 square 16. Sum of squares is what? Is 166. Now for F2. F2 it is 8. So 64, 12, 144, 9, 81, 11, 121, 6, 36 and 8, 64. Then add up all these. So you will get 5, 1, 0. For F3, 13, so 1, 6, 9. 8, 9, it is 81. 11, it is 121. For 8, it is 64. 7 square, so 49. And 12 square, 144. It is 628. Add up all these sums, sum of squares. 166 plus 510 plus 628 gives us 1304. Okay. Now, once you construct these two tables, now, first, after these two tables, our aim is to set the null hypothesis. What is that? We need to define the hypothesis H0 as variances for these fertilizers are equal. So, mu1 is equal to mu2 is equal to mu3. Next is correction factor CF. Okay. As you know, T square divided by N. So, T square is 144 whole square divided by N. N is total number of items given. So, total number of items is what? Here. This is 144. S. T is 144. This value we have used. And all these values, column values, total 
one, two, three, four, six. For each column, we have six values. Then we have three columns, so eighteen. So one forty-four square divided by eighteen is two seven two zero seven three six divided by eighteen gives us one one five two. Therefore, total sum of squares. Therefore. Total sum of squares is SSI is equal to summation IJ is XIJ square minus correction factor. Summation of IJ XIJ is this one. Grand total one three zero four. Okay, so it is one three zero four minus correction factor is one one five two. So SSI is equal to one fifty two. Okay, where we need this, we need this to find the correction error, or you can call sum of squares. Sap within the samples. Okay, of the space between the samples, or you can call treatments. So it is we have denoted it by S S B. So between the sample, so it is summation over I T I square divided by N I. Minus correction factor. So S S P equal to this is what T I square N I divided by N I means what is each T I T one square T two square plus T three square divided by N I means number of terms. The total number of terms is six. Okay, for each. Therefore, it is T one square by six. Or you can call it as n one t two square by n two plus t three square by n three minus c f. Therefore, S S B equal to one square is nine hundred. So nine hundred divided by six plus t two square two thousand nine one six divided by six plus T three square is three thousand six hundred divided by six minus correction factor one one five two. So this is equal to one fifty plus two nine one six by six gives us four eighty six plus this is six hundred minus one one five two. This is equal to One two three six minus one one five two. So this is so S S P. Sum of squares between the sample is eighty four. Okay. Now, therefore, now you can find the sum of squares within the sample. Within the sample, that is denoted by S S W. Okay, S S W is given by S S I minus S S B. Sum of squares, sorry, sum of squares total sum of squares S S I minus sum of squares between the samples. So this is SSI is one fifty two minus eighty four. So SSW is equal to sixty eight. So now we have got sum of squares between the sample within the samples. Now you can construct the analysis uh, and analysis of variance table. Okay. Now. 
we form simply you can say ANOVA table. ANOVA table. This is our ANOVA table. Okay. Source of variation, degrees of freedom, sum of squares, mean sum squares, F ratio. Between the treatments and within the treatments. Source of variation between the treatments and within the tra treatments. Degrees of freedom. Okay. Degrees of freedom. New one is a C minus 1. That is 3 minus 1. So it is 2. And here new 2. K minus C. So it is 18 minus 3 equal to 15. Now SSI is 84 and it is 68. MST is SSI divided by new 1. It's degrees of freedom. So 84 divided by 2. So MST is 42. And here MS is SSW divided by new 2. SSW is 68 divided by 15. So it is 4.5333. Then F is, F ratio is MST divided by MSE. MST is 42 and MSE is 4.533. Okay. Therefore F is equal to 9.5. 2653. Okay. So, error total error you can write error total 18 minus 1. So, it is 17. Okay. Now, what we have got? We have got F calculated value. For f of 2,15 is 9.2653. Now we need to check for tabulated value. So f tabulated value is, we'll check the tabulated value. Okay. So now f of 2,15 Horizontally 2, then for 15, it is 3.68. Okay, then value is 3.68. So, what it implies? 9.2653 is greater than 3.68. That is, F calculated is greater than F table value okay at 5 percent of significant level or 5 percent of significance if so if f calculated is greater than f tabulated what we need to conclude we will conclude that the hypothesis hypothesis is rejected Calculated value is greater than table value, then hypothesis is rejected. Then we can say there is significance between the three processes. of trees. Okay. So, this is how to calculate the one-way ANOVA for given examples. In the next class, we will solve one more example on this. If you have any doubts, do comment in the comment box. All the examples what I am solving, all are important. Keep practicing. If you have doubt, if you have doubt do comment. If you are not yet subscribe my channel, do subscribe my channel and support, share it to other friends. Keep thanking.